the politicians have now made their job. I think it, it, it would be really time that uh, uh, people start working seriously on, on uh, organization, planning, uh, structure, funding, and we, we reach the, the, the uh, more operational stage in, in this process. We are working in, in, in several ways. First, uh, trying to, to, to um, define the instruments for a, a quick supply of support both in terms of, of uh, technical know-how uh, support and also in terms of investment. We, we have to invent ways for channeling very quickly uh, a support which would translate our commitment in, into this initiative. This is the first thing we are, we are doing. Uh, and another way for working is to start planning what will happen after 2014. Uh, maybe you know, we, we are at the end of a programming process, so there is no much money left over. Uh, uh, all the money was already committed and we only can find uh, in, in some drawers little money compared to, to what really will come. And in order to prepare uh, in a wise manner for the use of what will come in the energy sector, we have to, to start now. So we are working in, in the preparation of programming guidelines, we are talking to those who will be the main protagonists of our action, which, who are the, the colleagues in the delegations. They, they will do the job and we are uh, here to support them, to, to increase their knowledge and their awareness of the importance of energy in order for them to start preparing the next uh, financial perspectives and, and program the intervention for the, the period 2014-2020. The energy facility is about access. It is about access, but um, well, first it was invented before access became a, 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 an issue and a political issue, well before uh, this initiative by, by Mr. Ban Ki-moon. Um, the energy facility is about uh, allowing communities, allowing individuals and organizations to invent a, a solution to access problems. So it is a, a very bottom-up approach because uh, it, it is managed through calls for proposals. We invite uh, the, the, the protagonists on the field, in the civil society, in the societies in the rural areas of the African, Caribbean and Pacific countries to propose a solution for their, their problems of energy poverty and poverty in general terms. At the opposite, in, in the range of instruments we have, we have the Infrastructure Trust Fund. This is for bankable projects, uh, large infrastructure, and in, uh, in, uh, at a regional level, meaning uh, uh, with um, an interest shared by a, a group of countries. The Renewable Energy Cooperation Programme, which you mentioned, is, uh, is uh, focusing on increasing, improving the use of renewable energy. So, it has a link with access, because at the end somebody will, will, will use the energy which is produced, but the, the focus is rather on, on the renewable and the climate aspect of, of things. Be careful about ideology. Uh, we are in a, in, a, in a period where everybody expects a lot from the private sector. But this is very much ideological. In, in many countries, like in ours, uh, access to electricity has been made by the public sector. Um, so, in every country you will find different conditions, you will find different minds uh, in, into the politicians. And so, listen and don't come with a too strong ideological a priori. I think for, for the time being, we are, we are in, a, in a period where everybody is uh, really fond of the idea that through leveraging uh, resources, with one euro you can make 20. Uh, this is very beautiful and it works very well in certain cases. It does not solve all the problems and it does not work in, in all the conditions. Uh, in many cases we need a, a complementarity between leveraging instruments and subsidy-based instruments. Like for example, the classical example is uh, you need uh, grant money in order to improve the governance and the policy in a sector, 
in order to be able to invest with blending instruments uh, in order to, to finance the, the, the investment. But even uh, in, in terms of pure investment, because the example I, I just gave was governance on one side, subsidies, investment on the other side, uh, blending mechanisms, so working with banks. In many other cases, you need even a subsidy for the, the investment itself. When you have uh, to, to reach a, a poor household uh, with a one kilometer wire, you cannot ask a bank to intervene, you cannot ask the household to, to reimburse. You have to go there with your grant. So um, the challenge is let's be, let's be careful. Uh, let's not think that uh, one size fits all and that uh, blending is the, 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 only, the only solution. By, by itself.